New YouTube creators struggle because their channel is not aligned with one of the three reasons people watch YouTube videos in the first place. I'm going to show you the three reasons why people watch YouTube videos and show you how to use this information to get you more views. Let's start by looking at the first one that comes to mind is entertainment. This is not only songs, skits, and opinions, but it's also experiencing things through other people's eyes. You may not want to travel across the country only on a $10 budget, but you might be entertained by someone else trying. Dude Perfect is a great example of an entertainment channel. All the videos are designed to engage and entertain the viewers. On this channel, some guys do some seemingly impossible challenges. Check it out and analyze it to see a good entertainment channel. Here are a couple advantages of having an entertainment type of channel. First, this type of channel is the most likely type to spread. These videos are more likely to go viral. They tend to appeal to many different types. The second advantage is that your viewers are likely to want to watch a number of your videos. So, if they come to one of your videos and they like it, then they're likely to go to channel and scroll through it to find others that appeal to them. For this type of channel, the viewer doesn't necessarily need to know the YouTube creator very well or even feel a close attachment to the creator compared to other types of YouTube channels. The last pro is, this channel type is great if you're trying to make money through ad revenue or sponsorship. Of course, there's also some cons that come with it. When you start out with an entertainment channel, it's very difficult for viewers to find you. If you make a hilarious video about ordering out for pizza with your grandmother, no one will be entering that into the search, so they're not likely to find you on search. Viewers have to stumble onto your videos, watch them, enjoy them, then they're likely to be shown more videos from you in the future. Unless you are lucky enough to have an early video go viral, it may take a while for your channel to pick up momentum. Two of the most lucrative types of monetization methods, affiliate marketing and selling your own products and services, are really difficult to do with this type of channel. To learn is another reason that viewers come to watch YouTube. There are two types of viewers that come to watch education type videos. The first type wants to learn something such as a school subject like history or about a topic that is them. The other type of viewer comes to learn how to do something quite practical like play the piano, fix a car, or do yoga. The first type of viewer focuses on gaining knowledge and the second type of viewer focuses on developing skills. Some channels in this group are unlikely to attract subscribers or viewers to return because once their has been answered, they no longer need you. A good example of this would be how to clean your swimming pool. It's unlikely you will be coming back to this channel to watch more videos once you have learned to clean your pool. But channels that focus on complex skills like photography are likely to get viewers to come back and watch a number of videos about different aspects of photography. Even channels that focus on school subjects fall into this group. You may watch a video about photosynthesis for your biology and return to the channel in the future for more help with your biology clip. Hello, I'm Hank Green. Welcome to Crash Course. We upload educational videos. My brother John and I started this channel with the goal of helping students and teachers with world history and biology. The pros and cons of educational type channels. This type of channel is the easiest if you're trying to get viewers by using search. A viewer that wants to know how to use the quadratic equation can easily locate one of your videos on this. This type of channel is also quite easy to make money even with a small If you have a channel about traveling to Bali, you can assume that your viewers have some type of interest in Bali. Therefore, when you recommend a particular hotel or restaurant, fairly large percentage of your viewers might have visit the hotel or restaurant if they go to Bali. Another advantage of this type of channel is that you don't always need to show your face. If you're making history videos, you could easily find images or B-roll to show your audience instead of showing them your face. This also goes for unpacking videos and how-to videos like cooking. Keep in mind, viewers come to your channel often to find this to a problem that they have, but once they get the information, they may not return 
because you have already solved the problem for them. And there's not much to encourage them to watch other videos on your channel because the videos may not solve any current problems. They it's difficult to make money through ad revenue or through sponsorship using this type of channel in most cases. So you will have to rely upon affiliate marketing and selling your own products and services to make money from these types of channels. The last reason that people view videos is because they can relate to a particular YouTuber and have built a strong connection to that YouTuber. These type of viewers come to better know someone and spend time with them. They are interested in what is going on in that YouTuber's life. People watch these videos because they can relate to you and they like you. People watch it just to see what's going on in his life. A big advantage of these types of videos is that they are relatively easy to produce. You don't have to have a lot of specialized knowledge or skills, nor do you need a lot of different products to showcase or compare. Instead, you are going to film yourself in your natural surroundings. Another advantage is people come to watch your videos regardless of the sick topic because they're coming to see you. Quite often, this turns into a habit, so they will come at an appointed day and time to see your newly released videos. Because people know, like, and trust you, they are often quite likely to buy products that you suggest, so this type of channel is rather easy to mark. When you get started with this type of channel, you're going to find it very difficult in the beginning to attract new viewers because they simply won't be able to find you. You are unlikely to show up in search. Also, you're going to develop a loyal fan base who come back to your channel to watch your new videos, but it's going to be tricky to try to expand that viewer base. Another thing is that some YouTubers may be turned off about this type of channel because it will require you to show your face and you're going to need a rather unique personality or be highly relatable or have a very unique lifestyle that people are interested in. If you want someone to show you how to successfully launch and grow a new YouTube channel, then subscribe and ring that notification bell so you will get access to all the free goodies I give away in the first 48 hours after releasing new video. We have seen there are three different reasons that viewers come to watch YouTube videos, but most YouTube videos are a mixture of two or more types. And since each channel type has different goals and different characteristics, you're going to find that normally it's best to create a channel that is up of these. To determine what would be the best mixture for your channel, you need to very seriously consider your channel's purpose and goals, as well as yourself. What I mean is, you need to take a hard look at your own personality to determine if you have a personality that would draw people to want to come and watch your video, or do you have a lifestyle that's so interesting that it may draw viewers? Also decide if you're willing to show your face as well as the limits of your video production skills. Finally, think very carefully about how you intend to monetize your video and make sure that whichever method you choose is strategically a choice for the type of YouTube channel you are. My stats channel is an excellent example of a mixed channel. Although much of his content focuses on tech and gadgets, people go to his channel repeatedly because they're interested in his daily life and his this, lifestyle. This is a regular shoe, and this, this is a $1,400 AI-powered motorized electric shoe. What time is it? It's time to reveal today's big enchilada. Now I'm going to give you a chance to apply this to your own YouTube channel. I'm assuming you already have a clear niche in mind, so go on to YouTube and find 10 channels in your niche and analyze them to find out what type of channel or what mixture each one of them is. There are two things you can do after you have this. You can look for gaps in your niche and create a channel mixture that does not yet exist. While this could be very pal while this could be a very cool way to differentiate your YouTube channel from the others, there is also a danger that the audience who watches videos in this niche might not be interested in the mixture that you have created. So, after you produce a fair number of YouTube videos and you're not getting the traction that you have expected, 
consider changing your mix. Before you jump in and make any more videos or even make your first video, watch this to learn a lot of other great tips that will save you months of time.